Hey everyone, back again. A um, little more electrical here in the shop. Um, for those that have been following my channel, <clears throat> there's probably a, a bunch of you guys, because it's one of my more popular videos, that saw me give an instructional on how to install the, the 50 amp 220 outlet and how I did it here in my shop. Okay, this is the outlet I used, which is the Bevington number 5374 is the part number focus focus whatever there you go um, I had to take this apart and buy a new one and let me show you why I don't really know why this happened um, here's how the back of the the new plug looks right you have this little cap that holds all the electrical connectors, the prongs into place, if you will. And here's that cap. It's a pop rivet. It fell off. Um, I guess that's what happens when people make shit products. The problem with that is when those prongs came out of here, they grounded out on the metal box and could have potentially caused some problems here in my shop. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got some plastic over here. Um, I, I believe it's PVC sheet, some black PVC sheet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to my bandsaw, my, my vintage craftsman bandsaw, wood bandsaw, and I think I'm going to cut out a bottom plate for this, so that this way, should they happen to do it again, and they move, you know, and try to drop out of there, they're going to hit plastic and not have an issue with them grounding out. Okay, um, that could have been bad. I could have been touching that. That wouldn't have felt good. Could have been all kinds of problems there. That might be a reason why you might might want to go with a plastic box instead of the metal one like I have. Um, I chose the metal one for durability, but apparently the box is more durable than the plug. So, I don't know. That's what I, that's what I plan on doing. You guys figure it out. Um, I just wanted to show you that real quick and show you how potentially dangerous that could have been. So, I don't believe I have my tripod out here, so I don't think I can set this up and let you guys see the process. Maybe I could just lean the camera. There we go. So, if I take something out of the view of the camera, sorry. I'm just loosening up these clamps on here. I'm going to, if you look down below, I'm going to have a, a reply to video, I guess, um, that will link you to the video where I talk about this, if, if you guys are not familiar with it. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm using the old plug to hold these um, brackets or clips or whatever the hell you want to call them. Since I don't have any pliers here with me, just so I can loosen the, the screws that hold the, the wires in place. Twist these back up. I'm going to loosen up all these connectors here.
I'm going to feed some of this cord out just for just to make this easier and put these all in place tighten them down it's pretty simple to do hopefully I don't have to do it again hopefully that one was just kind of a, a bad outlet feed the cable back in here. Um, I'm not going to clamp anything down because like I said I want to put a piece of plastic in there. Um, technically I mean I could put a piece of rubber or, or whatever I want in there. I just want to, you know, if that back cover comes off again on this new plug, I really would rather not take a hundred and, you know, 240 volts, you know, to my hand, body, whatever, that I'm sure will not feel good at all. So, um, let's come over here and see what we got. I don't even know where I got this from. Yeah, it appears to be some like PVC plastic whatever it should work so I'm going to measure this real quick So the box is, eh, I'm just going to make it a little bit short so I can actually get it in there. Three and three quarter, yeah, three and three quarter square. It's just a, an eighth inch bigger than that, but for the sake of trying to get it into the box, It would probably be better for me to just do through three and three quarter. So I'm using this compass here. I'm not going to use the pencil side. I'm using the compass to just essentially use it as a scribe. This doesn't need to be perfect obviously. Could make it perfect if I wanted to, just run a square on here. But I don't really care. Okay, so now let's come over here to my saw and cut this. And I'm not going to show you my electrical work over here. You guys will go into panic. <laughs> but I did find my phone charger out here. That's good. Let's see if I can do this without cutting my fingers off.
I know that cut was off, but it's hard for me to do that and show you guys at the same time. Probably smaller than I had hoped, but it'll work. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. So, anyway, like I said, it'll work. Just toss it down in here, like so. It's hitting something, and I'm not sure what. Oh, I know what it is. The bottom of this box has a, see that dimple thing right there? That's holding it. But I think it should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. This will press down on it, but it'll be fine. Like I said, I'd, I'd rather, that actually might help anyways to keep that rivet from popping off again. So, and it'll keep it from grounding out. So let me get that set up real quick. Get this wrapped up. First, I'm gonna get my wire back in the clamp. So um, the way these ones work is you have to attach the outlet to the actual cover before you put the cover on. Always make sure your breaker is off before you do anything like this. I hope I don't have to tell people that, but you never know. If you ever have any issues where you hear something short out, don't even wait. Immediately go run to your breaker box and turn that breaker off. If you don't know what breakers do what to what, you know, what breakers turn what outlets off, flip your main breaker until you figure it out. You don't want to fry up all the electrical. You don't want to cause a fire. You don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, there we go. Got it all back together. So, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. It's almost... This is not meant to be a how-to. This is more or less to show you guys that you need to be careful. Just because it's all brand new doesn't mean it's going to last. Um, this outlet right here is not even a year old and it failed. So, just keep that in mind. And hopefully this one will last. If not, at least I have some protection inside of here that will keep it from grounding out again. And actually I knew there was, there was something wrong with it because the last time I plugged my, the last couple times I plugged my 
Everlast Power Plasma 50 into this, it felt like it wasn't plugging in properly. I felt like there was something wrong. And what had happened is I was getting ready to do an axle swap on a friend's um, Jeep Cherokee. And I kicked this out of the way and, it, and that's what sh um, caused the short. So whatever, you know, this little back cover was already falling off at that point. So, and it just hadn't shortened. It hadn't made contact with the back to short out until that point. So anyway, thanks for watching as always. Subscribe, comment, like. If you have any questions, message me. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, I answer, I answer back, you know, the same day if, if at all possible. Um, I'm very active on the internet, so uh, I don't just disappear for, for days and weeks. So uh, I'm, I'm always there <laughs> unless I'm on vacation or something. Um, check out AlvarezMetalWorks.com. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.